Hey guys, Tim here with this Gigabyte AMD Radeon HD7950. Of course, the Haswell or Haswell, the Hawaii announcements were last week. You can actually get some good deals on these now. They've started coming down quite a bit in price. Uh, of course, it has the three gigs of GDDR5, which is why I spec'd it out for the build that's going in. This is why we went with the three cooler. So 35% cooler, more efficient. It does, uh, of course, the three gigs are another big deal. DirectX 11, PCIe 3.0, 384 bit, 22 na or 28 nanometer, sorry, and of course the Gigabyte Wind Force. Which again is why I went with this one, even though it doesn't match the color scheme of the build I'm doing. The idea of this build is quiet. So if the PCB actually bugs me or uh, Jason, I can always do a back plate for this, a back black back plate, which will hide most of the color. So of course the Windforce anti-turbulent cooling, multi-heat pipe, uh, triangular cool, PCI Express 3.0, 28 nanometer technologies there's not a lot on the outside of this box I'll be completely honest with you let's get it open because that's where the meat and potatoes are going to be if I seem a little out of it guys I'm sorry I've been sick all day but I need to get these unboxings done so I can get this build done obligatory hey look it has a disc and don't use it quick start guide and then the bad mamma jamma itself and some peripherals around here somewhere ho ho a peripheral that actually is worthwhile in a in a unboxing of a video card so this is going to get my way to go moment for gigabyte when we get there first however we have a crossfire bridge, which please, for the love of God, AMD or whoever, make these look better. They're all ugly. Ugly, 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 ugly. Stop it. We have Molex to 8-pin. Molex to 6-pin. If you have to use these, yeah, you might want to reconsider. So here's of course the card and there's the blue PCB I'm talking about. Crossfire has a nice uh, protector on it, protector on the 16X. So it has um, DVI, display port and two, well, hang on, let me make sure that's actually, yep, display port and two mini display ports. And that brings me to a peripheral that actually is worthwhile to box in something. A mini DVI, or sorry, a mini display port to regular display port. And I'm pretty sure that's HDMI now that I've talked myself out of that it's... Uh, yeah, it's HDMI. Wrong shape for DVI, or display port. So display port, mini display port to regular display port. Of course, it only comes with one. It'd be nice to see two, but at least you have that flexibility. And of course here are the three uh, fans which will increase cooling and decrease noise and as you can see down the side there there's the heat pipes. So not a whole lot with the card itself <coughs> excuse me other than the cooler and the fact that it should be quiet and cool and work really well in this build. Uh, the blue PCB I wish Gigabyte wouldn't do it, but I know they're trying to differentiate, and it actually does match their other boards, it just doesn't match this board, so, which I'm using a Gigabyte board, of course. This is Tim for Timmy Tech TV, signing off, if I missed anything, guys, you know, put it down in the comments, I really appreciate it when you guys correct me on something that I missed, it's a lot harder doing these one take things than people realize, so, if there's something I misspoke on or missed, throw it down in the comments, uh, thumbs up if you like this video series so far. And other than that, we'll see you guys next time.